Do you want to hear a story? A story about a secret and the player base's desperation to find more? A story layered in speculation and how when driven too far, that speculation turns into madness. The quest for another raid, another exotic. Would that quest ever be fulfilled? Or would it all be for nothing? Let's tell you the story of the secret court of Oryx and the Destiny community's relentless search for more. Some footage in this video is from players around the community. Their links will be in the description of this video, as well as the music too. Let's start with King's Fall. A raid that changed destiny forever by introducing new systems of loot, pure scale, and counter design evolution, plates, hard mode significant changes, challenge mode, and a quest exotic that started after beating the raid. All of this solidified King's Fall as a raid worthy of a full DLC and one that was ambitious with the story boss being the hardest activity in the game's boss too. Like many raids before, a portion of the raid was the quest for chests and extra hidden loot. Most raids hide their loot in certain spots and offer the best rewards like powerful legendaries and exotics for your time invested in finding them. The raid was beaten normally by players on day one of the release and was met with overwhelmingly positive reviews, but something stood out to players. One specific area had more going on than met the eye because the scale of the raid was so massive and this section, the second jumping puzzle, was so eye-grabbing that players had to investigate more. Just like any activity in the game, players carve raids inside and out all the time to find more. This goes back to the hunt for the six chests in the Vault of Glass, and now in the Taken King. This starts with the Black Spindle, though. A sniper rifle, which we have spoken a lot about, was found on September 23rd, 2015, the Wednesday after the raid came out. Players were shocked, and all of gaming was shook. After finding the secret just hidden in seemingly plain sight, with the daily heroic mission being the catalyst to set off all these other journeys. This secret mission got everyone antsy to find more than what met the eye in every avenue of the game from the social space of the tower, to 3 player strikes, to 6v6 crucible, and of course, in the raid. If a daily heroic mission offered a sniper this powerful, what could this mean for a raid? Probably the Sheepinator. No, the Bane. <laughs> Anyways, here's what happens when speculation and tinfoil crafting met a secret that wasn't meant to be found this quickly. Here's what happens when you mix the basketball court of Oryx with hype. What did he do? I just shit my pants. <laughs> I want you to meet Slayerage. Slayerage is a player best known for soloing a six player raid boss, Crota, knocking out low man raid challenges, and overall being a skilled player who is very knowledgeable at the game. Slayerage had been tearing apart the raid already with two man challenges and helping figure out strategies for solo Oryx challenges. Slayer got word of something that had been found in the jumping puzzle of the raid, and his focus shifted hard in that direction. Players started to notice something off about the fun wall section of the raid. There were poles that would light up when they stood next to them, an inactive piston at the beginning of this section, and a doorway way out in the distance too. Slayerage took this challenge head on. He may have been the first to do so many things in the game, but was he going to be the first to find a hidden exotic? A new section of the raid? Be known for finding an unreal secret Bungie was hiding? We move forward to Saturday, October 3rd, 2015. The pieces were finally to be put together, 
and players somehow got the door on the outskirts to open, but they didn't know how they did it. Teams searched for hours to find what could have possibly caused it. Some believe you needed to get pushed into the room, but couldn't get an angle. Others believed you needed to do the section backwards, but nothing was there. And some thought that you needed to pull out your ghost at certain times to see the platforms. But alas, nothing. This landed with the final and correct idea, the idea that it was the poles that lit it up all along. The poles which were in very difficult to reach spots all glowed when approached by players. So that was really the main signal. The order to approach the poles would eventually be discovered after some crafty observations that the number of spikes on the platforms coordinated which numbers you were. Eventually, after hours of trying the pole combinations and many deaths later, players were able to get the combination to work. Alright, right, here we go. It's all your fault, Ultimate. Here we go. One. <laughs> six. I'm, I'm there, sorry. Five. Two, four, three. No, wait. Oh my god, no! It's moving. It's moving. Oh, shut, shut the f up. Shut oh the f god. Shut your f moving. mouth. Moving. 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 Shut your f mouth. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. The piston activated on the bottom right side underneath the entrance, but this was only one step to the puzzle. Now they needed to figure out how to get into the room. Launch yourself on top? Blade dance sword skate across? Both of these honestly worked. Moving on, when they did finally reach the room, invisible platforms activated for everyone else to climb in, and what was inside the room was a basketball court for players to dunk balls into. I know it sounds funny, but this is a raid, so players assume that a new mechanic with dunking must be a part of it too, especially Slayerage, who was in the room for over 40 hours straight trying new things. You see, raid mechanics in Destiny usually let you know with visuals, audio, objects, just in general interactivity to play around with, and this room had all of those. In fact, every time you dunk the ball, a glyph would light up and dunking the ball six times gave you an overcharged buff to increase your movement speed and jump for a short time. This immediately tells the players in a raid that there's more than what meets the eye. It gives you the idea that you need to do something with that, and since the court allowed you to leave with the ball in hand, it meant players were going to try everything possible with it. Slayer, with the help of many others, got to work glitching the ball to spawn more, dunking in a certain order, what could the relic symbols in the room mean? Does it have something to do with other bosses in the raid? Everything you could possibly think of was explored in some crazy way. It was driving Slayer insane to the point where him and others were looking at the flickering light in the raid boss's room before the puzzle, Golgoroth Cellar, as a place where a secret could be hiding. So let's pull it back for a moment. Because it may sound crazy what these guys are doing. Why would you go through all of this trouble for something that probably isn't there? And for more context as to why this isn't out of the room of possibility, this is the company that messes with ARG puzzles dating back to Halo 2. In-game puzzles in Halo and Destiny, real-life puzzles too, to test their player base, so Anything is really possible after all, right? Nothing really seemed to be working though, and players started getting concerned for Slayerage and other players' health and well-being, since the pursuit for more and silence from Bungie kept them thinking they were onto something. Then, the day had to come. Monday, October 5th, Luke Smith, the raid lead at Bungie at the time and now the game's director, made a tweet that quote, Oryx's basketball court is a fun easter egg the team put together. It's just a place to dunk like your neighbor's 8 foot rim. No loot to find. This was shocking to players at the time because Bungie never made comments like this. They never spoke out like this. This led to the Raid Secrets community and even Slayerage 
to think that they were onto something even more and Bungie was trying to stop them. Maybe playing mind tricks on them. Eventually though, after days of the community telling Slayer and others to stop and no end in sight, the mystery of what was out there was never found. To this day, some people believe that there's more to this story that can be found. Hell, some people are still searching for the Alpha Loopy mystery. But just like that mystery, this one will always be there in a game like Destiny, a game that is always asking questions, always having players hunt for extraordinary puzzles. Hey, Luke Smith did delete the tweet after all. Is this the sign the community needs? Or is it just another puzzle? I'll let you dive into that one yourself. Hmm. Don't give me the gun, gun, Destiny. I don't want it. I never wanted it. I've been doing this raid for nothing this whole time. I don't even want it. Thank <laughs> you. 